There's a gravitational anomaly ahead! It looks like... Oh, no, this can't be right! At this strength, it's a black hole! The current situation is everything, Mr. Faze. Allow me, then, to explain the phenomenon of black holes appearing in deep space, along with my own theories about them. Sorry, Bacchus, but save the lecture for another time. We have to concentrate on getting out of here! Raimi! Give me 30 seconds! I'm inputting the gravity changes for emergency warp! Edge! Look! It's really black and smoky. Is that... the black hole? I've lost control of the Kalnus! Raimi! Too late! We won't make it! We... survived. Is everyone okay? Yes, I think. That was fun. It was all zap, boom, okay? <sighs> what are we going to do with you, Lemel? We were definitely caught in the black hole. Did we escape from its event horizon, then? No, I'm afraid that would be impossible. Perhaps it just happened to be a black hole with an ergosphere? Hmm, I suppose one might call it an escape through a type of wormhole. In any event, the fact that we escaped at all can only be called a miracle. Impossible! No, I'm certain my analysis is correct. No way! Miss Raimi, you doubt me as well? This is... Our homeworld? Is this Earth? Are we sure then? Yes, the results are the same every time I check. The stellar coordinates are an almost perfect match. There's no question that this planet is Earth. I see. What's wrong? This is Edgy and Ray Ray's home, isn't it? But both of them don't look very happy about it. I don't think it's so much unhappiness as it is bewilderment. Indeed. Arriving at one's home planet under such strange circumstances would put anyone ill at ease. That's not the whole problem. There are subtle discrepancies between this Earth and ours. This isn't the most flattering part of our planet's history, but... A little before Raimi and I were born, the worst war in all of Earth's history occurred. The result was that the surface of the planet became terribly contaminated, and humans had no choice but to go deep underground. It's been the same situation ever since we were born. The polluted environment still hasn't improved. Of course, that was the very reason we looked to space. But there are no traces of pollution on the surface of this planet. Well, it's not quite accurate to say none at all, but it's still an environment in which humans could live. It's almost like the war that nearly destroyed our planet never even happened. Indeed. The fact that something you took for granted suddenly no longer applies is somewhat troubling. And there's another thing. The organization we belong to, the USTA? I can't get through to headquarters. Hmm. Mysterious issues all. Something unexpected may have happened here in your absence. Hmm? Uh, what is it, Lim? 
Everyone stop standing around and being all weird, okay? Let's go out. I want to see Edgy and Ray Ray's home. What? Uh, um, you see, Lemo. All right. Edge? The air outside seems breathable. I'm going out there to take a look. See if we can't find someone. In that case, I shall join you. And I as well. As a scientist, I am intrigued. Me too. Limmel, you stay and watch the ship with Raimi, okay? Hmm. Raimi, take care of Limmel while we're out. Gotcha. Hey! Don't do anything stupid, Edge. Don't worry, I'll make certain of it. Yes, you may count on me too. Uh, why are the two of you answering for me? I guess I won't have to worry if Faze and Bacchus are with you. Hmm. <laughs> This place is... deserted. It sure is, and has been for some time, from the looks of things. For now, let's split up and see what we can uncover. Report if you find anything. What? This can't be! Judging from the color degradation caused by ultraviolet rays, I'd say it's been abandoned for about three years. I suppose that's not particularly important, but... Well, don't jump to conclusions, FaZe. If nothing else, I just figured out when we are. The date on this magazine is too faded to read, but there was an article inside that caught my attention. Two years after initial experiments, our country has at last perfected the ultimate doomsday weapon. The hydrogen bomb, is what it says. If I remember my history, the first practical hydrogen bomb on Earth was developed in 1954. So basically, if you're saying this magazine is three years old, 
That would put us in the year 1957. In other words, we're on the Earth of nearly 150 years ago. <gasps> the Earth of 150 years ago? That... that's not even possible. I'm not so certain, Mr. Faze. What? Even you, Bacchus? Mr. Edge, a short time ago I intercepted some radio waves, albeit weak ones. Radio waves? Like old broadcast radio? The transmission was as follows. Some days ago, the historic honor of launching the first artificial satellite slipped through our fingers, instead going to the Reds. This unfortunate occurrence has prompted the President to announce new plans for manned rocket missions, promising to put men in space before our rivals. Mr. Edge, how would you interpret this information? Anyone who's ever dreamed of going into outer space knows the story. The first successful launch of a man-made satellite was... the middle of the last century, 1957. No wonder we can't reach anyone. In 1957, the USTA wasn't even a twinkle in someone's eye. Honestly, I can't believe it. But with this much evidence piling up, I guess we have no choice but to face reality. The planet we made our emergency landing on may be Earth, but it's an Earth from almost 150 years in the past. Didn't you mention this sort of thing before, Phase? An error in mid-warp that can cause a ship to end up in another time entirely? No, this situation is somewhat different. That was brought about by the distortion caused by warping within the space-time continuum. The dangers associated with it are nothing more than arriving earlier or later on the standard temporal axis. If the theory we're positing here is true, it would be time regression. And such a thing is absolutely not possible. Though, with the situation as it is, I hesitate to apply the term absolutely. Hmm. If we posit that time regression has indeed occurred, it would mean we're now located in a space topologically distinct from that in which we were previously. In the current situation, I do not yet have enough information to say whether such a thing is even possible. But if the reality is that we now stand upon the past Earth, we have no choice but to accept it as fact. So, let me get this straight. We've been transported to the Earth of 150 years in the past. And we currently have no way of getting back, right? If this truly is the Earth of another time, then yes. I'm afraid there is nothing we can do to return. Hmm... The only thing I can say for certain is this. It's pointless to keep standing around here. Let's return to the Kalnus and review the situation together. Then we can decide what to do. What?! The Kalnus! Damn it! What did they get here? They're quite well regulated. I suppose they must be soldiers of some sort. Even so, they've arrived much too quickly. They must have a base of operations nearby. It would seem this was more than just a ghost town. This isn't Let's Swap Theories time! Raimi and Limmel are still inside! Wait. All they want is to capture the extraterrestrials inside. If nothing else, I can assure you no one will be harmed. I wouldn't go recklessly provoking them if I were you. Who are you? You refer to us as extraterrestrials quite casually. Are you with those soldiers over there? What do you people want from us? My... My name is Klaus Bachtein. You have to trust me. I'm your friend. <sighs> Mr. Bakhtai, 
I must request an explanation. On what ground should we consider you to be our friend? Fair enough. But first we must find a better place to talk. You'll all be found if we stay here. You see the house with the red roof over there? That's my home. Come with me. I'll give you the details there. Edge, are you really going to trust him? We must keep in mind that this may be a trap. Or, he might really want to help us. If nothing else, he presented himself to us unarmed. Besides, he has no idea who or what we are, yet he shows his back to us? That's not the kind of man I want to doubt. Thank you. That is very like Mr. Edge. Yes, I am truly no match for him. Limmel? Good grief. Please don't scare us like that. For a moment I thought it really was a trap. But still, what are you doing here, Limmel? Yeah, weren't you staying in the Kalnis? Mm. I'm sorry. It's all my fault. What? exactly happened, Limmel? Klausi. Hmm. Allow me to explain. I see. So that's what this is all about. Your country's army has troops stationed at a base here, and the ruined town serves to camouflage it. Interesting. So the men surrounding the Kalnis were indeed soldiers after all. But, Limmel, Raimi was captured trying to protect you. While we're all glad Klaus rescued you, you shouldn't have been so careless as to leave the Kalnis. I'm sorry. I was a bad girl. And now Ray Ray's gone. But, well... I suppose there's little point in scolding you after the fact. But... If you're truly sorry about what happened, that's more than enough. Not even Raimi would be angry with you, Limmel. Edgy. Besides, I'm partially responsible for this myself. It was a mistake to split us up under conditions like these. I won't make that mistake again. Let's go, people. We're rescuing Raimi. It's nearly impossible to get into the base from outside. Why don't you leave this part to me? What do you mean? Well, pretend that I've apprehended you, and that I'm bringing you in. 
That should allow us to get inside without causing too much fuss. I see. Yes, that would certainly allow us to avoid unnecessary trouble. But one question remains. Which is? What exactly is your motive for assisting us? Hmm. Forgive me, but you're far too knowledgeable about what's happening here. What if he hands us all over together? Are you that kind of man, Klaus? <sighs> you have every right to doubt me. But even so, I want to help you. All right. In that case, I'll leave our method of entry into the base to you, Klaus. Edge! Klaus saved Limmel after all. And Limmel isn't the kind of girl who would get this close to someone who couldn't be trusted. But more than anything else, I trust him. Like I said, he came to us unarmed, and he turned his back on us without hesitation. It would appear you have lost again, Mr. Faze. So it would appear indeed. <laughs> Thank you. You may have already suspected this, but the truth is, I once worked at the base myself, as a scientist. I was involved with research into a certain field. My field was extraterrestrials and the super technology they brought with them. Mr. Bakhtine. Are you implying that the existence of extraterrestrials is known on this planet? Well, not by the public, of course. And that's exactly why the researchers must be having trouble controlling their excitement right about now. Why would that be? It's not very often they get their hands on an unscathed ship like your Kalnus. Not to mention uninjured extraterrestrials. If they can understand your technology and make it their own, these people who once struggled in obscurity can suddenly become heroes. Two birds with one stone. Your super technology, their fame. They'll be able to go public. They do it without even stopping to consider how dangerous such advanced technology might be. What kind of scientist would accept a breakthrough handed to him on a plate? We need to catch up with you on our own, through our own abilities. To be honest, our species just isn't ready for your technology. So once you've rescued your friend, I want you to leave this planet as soon as possible. If I must have a motive, I suppose that would be it. I see. Actually, there's one other thing I need to ask. As it happens, there's another extraterrestrial besides your friend who's being held captive in the base. There are extraterrestrials on Earth other than us? Yes, a young girl named Miracle. She has ears and a tail that look just like that cat's. You'll know her when you see her. <sighs> I beg of you, take Miracle back to our home planet. You have my word. We'll do our best to get her home. Thank you.
As per arrangements, from here on out, I will hold onto your weapons and conceal myself. Baki! Baki disappeared! <gasps> Is that symbology? It's optical camouflage. Incredible! To think such advanced technology has been perfected. I'll feel much safer indeed with Bacchus watching our backs. No kidding. Excuse me for just a moment. I need to call in. It's me, Mila. Yes, I'm getting by. I thought I might cooperate with you today. I'm serious. Not being able to work convinced me that you were right. Think they know each other? Sounds that way to me. I've brought a little something we can use to continue our research together. That's right. I'd like permission to enter. A03. Understood. Get the entrance, would you? Amazing. Getting in alone would have been difficult indeed. The base is below. Whenever you're ready. <laughs> 